Welcome to NEV Physics. I am Sunil Saha, and this video is a third part of thermal expansion. Here you will learn about the coefficient of cubical expansion. Now let's move to the content. Suppose we have an iron cube of volume V1 and initial temperature theta 1 degree Celsius. When this iron cube is heated for some time, it expands. After expansion, let the final volume be V2 and final temperature theta 2 degree Celsius. Now the change in volume is given by V2 minus V1 and that is equal to delta V. The change in temperature is given by theta 2 minus theta 1. It has been experimentally found that the change in volume is directly proportional to the original volume and we know that the original volume is V1 so we can write Delta V is proportional to V1. Let it be equation 1. Also, the change in volume is found to be directly proportional to the change in temperature. So, we can write Delta V is proportional to Theta 2 minus Theta 1. Let it be equation 2. When we combine equation 1 and 2, we get Delta V is proportional to V1 times Theta 2 minus Theta 1. This equation can be written as Delta V is equal to Gamma V1 times Theta 2 minus Theta 1. In equation 3, Gamma is a proportionality constant which is called the coefficient of cubical expansion. The value of Gamma depends upon the material of the cube. In equation 3, if we keep gamma in the left hand side, then we get gamma is equal to delta V by V1 times theta 2 minus theta 1. This is the expression for the coefficient of cubical expansion. Now for the definition of the coefficient of cubical expansion, we do the following approximation. We approximate the original volume of the cube to unity and also the difference in temperature to unity. And by doing this we get gamma is equal to delta V. So we can define gamma as the change in volume per unit original volume per unit degree rise in temperature. Now let's find the final volume of the cube. We know that the final volume is equal to the original volume plus the increase in volume. So we can write V2 is equal to V1 plus delta V. Here when we substitute the value of delta V from equation 3, then we get V2 is equal to V1 plus gamma V1 times theta 2 minus theta 1. Now taking V1 common in the right hand side, we get the expression for the final volume of the cube. Thanks for watching. If you are finding the videos useful, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming videos.